good afternoon all my viewers so this is another take on Windows 10 on Lumia 925 which I've just installed so previous build which I've got uh, seems to be pretty buggy and nothing was working literally I wasn't even, I wasn't even going to the settings that time but this time I seems to have got another update and everything seems to be up and running again so the changes as you can see it has a full screen background the tiles are now somewhat like you know transparent and, and the drop down menu has now the multi toggle buttons uh, so that is how it is and uh, there are some minor changes something like uh, the the clock uh, seems to have got some changes now you can see the toggle buttons there it, it seems to be you know look, it looks pretty good it's better than what it was that is for sure and uh, the look and feel as you can see it has changed a lot and I've not installed any apps uh, as of now, which is new, and that will come up on top here. And as you can see, the background here previously it was completely dark, and here you can see the background of the desktop or the home screen is actually visible there. So that's again something new. And going to the settings um, now, as you can see, I'm able to go to the settings. So the settings now seems to be pretty, pretty much, you know. You know, readable or understandable. Previously, it was like long list of portable windows that you get in a pissed off. Now it's pretty much good. So this is how I want, at least now, as of now. And let's quickly go to uh, the update and recovery. Or and I am I am actually not sure where exactly what is there or where exactly it is. There. So even I'm just as you see here. Even this is the first time I'm seeing. So as you can see, the theme here is green, uh, dark blue, and and black so that seems to be working pretty nice with this new Windows theme. So I go to the systems, there are many options. As you can see there's some USB, I think there's a USB uh, you know, uh, functions enabled. I can think you can connect your USB things on this and they can read it. So I'll go to the update and query uh, and see uh, on the phone settings. So that's that's where you get a backup and the phone update you check for that. I'm <coughs> sorry for that. And the devices Again, once you can go to system, display notification phone, Cortana storage system. So yeah, pretty much about it. So I'll go to about of the system. So as you can see, more info. I'm running a Windows 10 technical preview. So I, I can't show you much more of this because that might contain some IME numbers. So I'll, I'll just keep my hand on that as of now. So that's the build. It looks pretty much freaking awesome. So I just loved it. Uh, you know. Look wise, yes, it's a pretty big change. So I guess everything is working. So I'll go to the messaging app pretty quickly. So the messaging app, yes, it has a new new look. Uh, the dial pad, I'll show you that too as well. Sorry, there's no SIM and that's so sorry for that. So as you can see, it has a new look. So the contact, everything looks like slightly IOish. It's pretty much good. So if this is the way it seems to be working, I'll let tell you guys to go give it a try. But just make sure that. If you have a backup phone, only then you do it because you cannot use it as a daily driver because it can be buggy. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day guys. Please subscribe, comment and like it. Thank you.